What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. So I'm going to focus in on the uh, Vancouver Canucks and Calgary Flames making a deal that sent uh, Hunter Shinkaruk to Calgary, where he's his hometown kid, Alberta native, uh, in exchange for Marcus Granlund. Um, let's start with it from you know, Calgary's perspective. I love Shane Carrick going into that 2013 draft. I thought he probably should have gone a little bit higher than he did um, after having, you know, a couple of really, really good seasons with the Medicine Hat Tigers. And then, you know, since the, the two years after he was drafted, struggled mightily, um, you know, one year with an injury. And, then, you know, his first rookie pro year at, at 20, you know, really had some uh, had his ups and downs. But this year has played very, very well in Utica, uh, Vancouver's AHL affiliate. And, um, you know, has 21 goals in the season. I think he's in the top uh, eight or nine in the AHL in goal scoring. 39 points at 45 games. You know, really doing a number of different things for uh, Utica. And that's also important. Remember, he's still only 21 years old. He's actually leading that team in scoring down there. It's pretty good. Pretty good talent, too, between him, Gons, Jordan, Subban. Um, but, you know, going a step further, Vancouver didn't feel like he could, you know, score at the pro level. So that's their score at the NHL level, I should say. On the flip side of the coin for uh, Calgary, giving up Marcus Granlund, obviously Michael Granlund's younger brother. Um, you know, he's got, I think, 70-something games in the NHL, closer to 80, actually. I'm just kind of looking it up now. Um, and, you know, he's he's done some things that, you know, Calgary likes, but you know, it's been tough to, to kind of carve out a niche with the Flames. Sending them to uh, Vancouver, you know, allows them to get a clean slate. I mean, I think in both cases it's, you know, the, the typical clean slate for a prospect, but I think in Shane Garrow's case he doesn't need it. That's just me. Um, you know, and again, I, I like his game. It's kind of, this deal reminds me a little bit of the one, that, of the deal that two teams made last year for uh, the Sven Barchi, that Sven Barchi, you know, former top prospect for Calgary to Vancouver, you know, the clean slate theory. So, you know, again, I think it's a definitely interesting trade. I think on paper, early Calgary wins because I like Shinkara that much. Um, but, you know, we'll see what Granlin can do, you know, with, with given a uh, clean slate and a new organization. But I've been wrong before. I've been right before. I've been everywhere you can on the uh, spectrum of predicting trades. So we'll see uh, how it all shakes up. Anyway. That's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episode through the season and beyond. Later, guys.